I want to see some cats today. Walk around the compound. Oh, the peets and squeaks especially. So let's walk around the compound. Hello, my name is Derek. My name is Hello. We've met many times. Okay, let's try it again. Sit. Please. Sits. Zits. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Okay, we're out here now. We are out here now. Looking at some of these kitties. And really just kind of soaking it in. Just the wonder, the wonderfulness. The wonderment. I don't think wonderfulness is, I don't think wonderfulness is a, is a word. But then again, all words used to not be words. When you think about it, Bread. Used to the word bread used to never exist. The thing used to not exist. Joe used to not exist. Wait. There he is. There he is. Biplane. That's cool. I could just like see like a guy up there. He's got like goggles on and like a leather, a leather cap. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You're rubbing your chin on uh, on your bucket. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. If 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 All right. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Hello. Let's let's do this. This is Heidi and Jan are over there. Heidi's driving the tractor and Jan's tagging along. They're loading up stuff. I was hell I was loading up stuff when we were we were it was like fence panels and logs and big old like bundles of log sticks and chopped down like branches and stuff like that. And then I'm like, I gotta go film. My people need me. Take Jan in my stead. And you know what Heidi said? You know what Heidi said? She's like, come on, Jan. I've been trying to get rid of him anyway. And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> she did. She said that. Rude. Baba. 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 Valley, valley, valley. Valley, 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 valley. Volley, volley, volley. Volley, 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 volley. You are getting just slobber on my fingers. That's gross. And he's doing stink. You're doing stink. You're doing stink. Yeah, you are. I'm not really sure if I'm wanting to celebrate along with you considering I got your your snot spit all on my fingertips see they're taking yeah let's see let's see Heidi's driving 
Jan is riding. Jan's the purple blob. And then Heidi is the black blob. The tractor is the green blob. And then there's the orange blob. Needle. I they're put they're taking spools. They're gonna put spools in the bob down in the bobcats enclosure. And then you got kitties sitting there thinking like, whoa, there's a tractor. There's a tractor. That can only mean one thing. It can only mean food. It can only mean dinner. You know, tractor means other stuff. We don't just use the tractor to feed you. You understand this, right? There's a lot of, we've, we've talked about this countless times. Countless times. Ad nauseum. Okay, we're not subtracting nauseum, we're adding, adding it. Now, yeah, try this uh, mineral water. Now with more nauseum. Mm. She's still. Eaten. Oi! Wait a minute. I pressed the, the little circle D, circle D, jerkle D button. The one where you get the arrow going this way and then the arrow going that way. And then it's like, oh, press this and then it's gonna flip the camera. So when I dropped it. Bren, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? <laughs> everyone hears tractor and everyone thinks food, but you guys like are this is you guys got fed two days ago and it's gonna be another two days before you eat again. Okay, you're in the middle of feed cycle. There's not no food. Not getting dispersed. It's not happening. I uh I slept pretty good. Slept pretty good last night. I sleep really, I sleep well, generally much better here at home than I do when I'm, I'm away at my apartment. Logan is like right there. Five bug, five bug. Nice sugar pie. I know, I know, I know. Hi, baby girl. She's just gotta get over it. She's had that leg for two days. She's had that leg for two days. And uh, my my sleep is very inconsistent. When I'm at my apartment, my sleep is very inconsistent. Um, I'll get anywhere between like three to seven hours. <laughs> on any given night and usually I'll get like a it's weird I'll like the the first night I go back which you know that's like it's Sunday Sunday evening I'll go back and maybe I'll get maybe I'll get five or six hours and then the next night I'll usually get about six or seven and then the next night I'll get five and then the next night four and then the next night three it's like it'll it'll it kind of it's it kind of it kind of dips and goes up and then does back down until the weekend and then it's it's such a strange kind of thing. A lot of times my lack of sleep is entirely self-imposed. I'm just sitting there playing video games way too late, <laughs> knowing full well it's like you got to go to bed and I'm just like yeah, but what about this next match? What about I got this other quest? I got a side quest that I got to do. These side quests ain't gonna do themselves. <laughs> and then when I'm done plugging, I'm like, okay, I gotta be done playing video games. Gotta be done playing video games. I'm done playing video games. All right. Let me just watch a couple of YouTube videos to help me wind down. <laughs> and it's, that's, a, that's a terrible idea. What? Whoa! Whoa! 
Whoa, look who's driving the tractor. Look who's driving the tractor. This is amazing. Jan, Jan's driving the tractor, carrying the spools. Look at her. Nice. Good job. So proud. Okay. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The pedals, watch out. Don't run into the enclosures. <laughs> Is that Sydney? Sydney's being just like, I'll be danged. <laughs> Sydney's also just like, huh, shucks, look at that. <laughs> Let's see how she does. Let's see how Jan does. She's backing up. Oh, no. After, so she put the, Jan put the spools down. And she's backing up. Okay, parking brake. Now she turns it off. Red key. key, red key. Hey, good job. She did it. That's nice. Good. Awesome. That's a good milestone. But yeah, I it's like whenever and like there's times where I say like you know what now like I've eaten enough food and it's weird it's like I'll, I'll eat I'll eat well more nutritionally I'll hydrate and then like a lot of times my decision making capacity for like hey less time to go to bed it is a little bit better so it's like all of the there's a lot of little kind of mitigating things that that contribute to an overall ecosystem of self-care and then there's other times where you just I, i'm just i'm, I'm kind of stretching myself thin in more ways than one and then i just want to i want to my brain is an orange and i'm like let me squeeze all of the chemicals out of it that i can Let me find every little last drop of dopamine and serotonin that I can find. My brain is like, peace, huh? <laughs> no more. I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. We can get a little bit more out of you. The worst is it's like... Because you can have such an awareness of it, too. That's the thing. Where I, and a lot of times, I, I used to, this is where I've, I've, you know, at least expressed a little bit more maturity and growth. It's like I may not necessarily stop the behavior, but I don't let the behavior, like, really affect me. Because before, I used to kind of, like, get really down on myself. And then I get, would, like, create, like, more anxiety because, like, come on, you got to go to bed. Oh, my gosh, you're not, tomorrow's going to be so bad. It's going to be terrible. This is going to be awful and you're going to suffer. And then now it's just like, ah, yeah, like, you know, you're going to, tomorrow's not going to be the best, but it's not, you know, like things could be worse. Don't worry about it. It's, <laughs> like you're, you're going into this knowing full well that uh, it's going to uh, have an effect. I think I mentioned this like the other, I don't know. If I mentioned this on like recent weeks, casts, but like, like, <laughs> I like, I've, like YouTube, like there's times I'll get into these loops. This again, there's times where, you know, you'd be like, all right, it's time to go to bed. And like, we do the bed thing. And then, and then I wake up and I feel pretty decent. And then there's other times where it's just, I know I'm in kind of like a, like, I really need to kind of squeeze the, the, the brain juice. Where I got, I, I feel, I feel weak. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't have the ability to withstand that urge to squeeze the brain juice. That's what's, that's what that's all about. Um, but then it's like I become a little bit more just, all right, this is what it is. And I try, I don't, I don't necessarily fight it. And I don't, I don't, I don't judge it. So the more, the less you try to fight it and the more you, you just kind of forgive yourself for it. And the less you try to judge it, the easier you are to be like, okay. And then you just kind of drift away from it back to like greater health. I guess that's kind of, you know, comes from going through a lot of that, you know, therapy and rehab and everything. It's just like the less you try to fight these things, the easier they are to kind of overcome moment to moment.
in a lot of ways. Hi. I also sit there and think like, well, if YouTube is basically like the worst, th the worst vice that I have to kind of contend with that like affects my day-to-day -day life, then, you know, we're not doing so bad. <laughs> we're not doing so bad. <laughs> Oh, well, we'll just let this one. You know, my brain is just like, just give me something. <laughs> I need some sort of advice. <laughs> yeah. Like, I still give you some. You get caffeine. You got, you got caffeine. You got nicotine every once in a while. You know, and YouTube. There you go. There you go. You're good. But, uh, isn't it? And it's also weird where sometimes, sometimes I'll stay up like, oh gosh, I was just, I, I, I lost my train of thought before. Um, boom, boom. I, I was like staying up. It was one night. It was a work night. I stayed up until like 2.33 in the morning watching Super Metroid speedruns. I was watching Super Metroid speedruns. And just like knowing, just like, this is ridiculous what you're doing right now. You realize this, right? Like you have, you, you have like responsibilities. You have like a career, like a legit career with benefits. And this is what you're, I'm just like laying in bed. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> laying in bed with my phone. Just like, oh no, oh man, that's pretty dope. <laughs> man, it's like some pretty good strategies against Ridley. That's, oh my god, how he's using the ice beam, that's sick. <laughs> no, this is like, yeah, it's 2.30, I, I realize that, it's, I also realize that this guy's speedrun is amazing. <laughs> Then there's, there's a, I don't know if you ever feel, if people ever feel this, there's like those weird times where I know if I stay like, like a bad, like it's weird, like a good three hours of sleep is way better than a bad six hours. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's like, you know, I know that I'm going to get a bad six. And then sometimes I know that I'm going to get a good three. It's weird. There's times where I'll stay up late and I have like this sense of confidence where it's like, I feel, I can't quite tell you why exactly I feel this way, but I feel like I'm, I'm going to get a good, at least like a REM cycle. And it's strange because yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have like five or six hours of sleep, like the night before wake up feeling like doo doo. And then like the next couple of nights, Maybe I'll get like three or four, but it, for some reason I sleep well and I wake up feeling like, all right, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling focused, feeling ready. It's interesting. Sleep's weird, man. My relationship to sleep is also very weird. But then I come home, but then I come home and then I just, I melt, I melt. Big part, of course, you don't have to set alarms, but also the other big part is because I'm in my home. And I remember like listening to like sleep scientists talk about that. Like if you're a person who like spends a lot of time away from home, if you travel a lot, if you're, if you're like, if you travel a lot for work, you stay in a lot of hotels and everything like that, your sleep gets disrupted or you might not sleep as well. Like generally speaking, your quality of sleep in your home is better than when you're not in your home. And um, some sleep research, some sleep researchers theorize that there's actually like an evolutionary kind of genesis behind that, where uh, it's like if you're in a cave, if you're if you're in your own cave and it's your familiar settings and your familiar surroundings, like you know where the ins and outs and like the the good places to go and the bad places, and you know how to defend your cave better than unfamiliar surroundings so then you can actually like your body naturally lets its guard go 
and you can like go into deeper sleep cycles. So when I come home for the weekends, like I said, I melt. I just, my sleep, I just, I, I am a gooey pie on the windowsill when I wake up in the morning. It's a glorious thing, love it. Ack attack, what you say, Jack? What's tootin' fresh and scootin'? What, what's going on there? <laughs> what are you doing? What, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? I was about to boop your nose. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to boop your nose and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. There's no nose booping that's happening here. Are you, it's like, it looks like he was having like acid flashbacks for like a little bit there. Hey. Hi, handsome. Hi. Hey. Handsome guy. All right. Cool. Thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbist Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility at Rugby, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy and Thank you so much for your continued support. We'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye. Monkey's Butter Toast. Munchy Saw Ghost. Miko weighs the most.